Hi, and uh, welcome to my brackish aquarium. Um, the male pipefish carrying the eggs has started uh, rubbing himself against the reef here, and the coral, and uh, rubbing himself against the, the rock, and pushing. Uh, and the eggs are really large now. It looks like the eggs are about to come off. Um, even the other fish are, are starting to fall around and poke at them. Uh, I think they know what's going to happen here. But it, it looks like a few of them have already come off. Um, up closer to the head, there was probably two or three more, what looks like in that, that opening of the sack now. And uh, they've already come out, and they did not last long. The fish got to them very quickly. Um... But yeah, it's, it's pretty neat to see his behavior change so quickly. Uh, you can see that the ones in the front, they seem to be getting with like air bubbles or, or larger. You can actually see the tiny uh, pipe fish swimming around in the egg. It's quite neat. And it, he is just about to let those go, isn't he? Like I said, he's already let a couple go. So it won't be long. He's definitely uh, grabbing onto the coral there and trying to uh, loosen his load a little. I don't know how long the fry will last uh, when they do come out because uh, of all the fish. There's just way too many fish in here. But he is definitely trying. For sure. Now that's not really his normal behavior to do what he's doing. You can see he's trying to rub himself there against that piece of coral. Let's see if I can get some video of at least one of the eggs coming off. Yeah, it looks like that one in the front there is just about to come out of his pouch. Uh-huh. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. See how he's just like rubbing it against the reef there, the coral? He's been doing that for about 20 minutes before I decided to film. And as soon as I got the camera, the phone going, he, w he had dropped a couple of them. So it really won't be long. cat going crazy in the background sorry about the noise but it won't be yet did he lose another one you can see that pouch is opening yeah it's never been so large It almost looks like a different uh, fish uh, from his abdomen on. It's gotten so large, so eventually something's going to happen here. Um, he's already dropped a few, so uh, today's the day. Um, like I said, there's so many fish in this tank, and the gobies, you know, make a living eating baby fish, so they won't make it, but it's pretty neat to see. <laughs> just in the few videos I've taken how those eggs and also his um, his pouch there have expanded uh, it's um, if anything it's a good sign that the water in the tank is healthy because I mean although the fish the, you know the fry are just going to be eaten uh, it, it's gone through the cycle 
Uh, they uh, laid eggs, uh, the female laid the eggs on the male, and the male carried them till they gave birth. So, um, that's got to be a thumbs up for, uh, I mean, you know, every three to five day water changes. Uh, no chemicals, no salts or anything added. And, uh, you know, I'm using Florida crushed coral um, as a substrate with just some... Uh, some uh, Peace River rock. Uh, this is obviously dead uh, stag head coral. Um, it's been, you know, it was out of the tank and dead for a good 10 years. I'm just using it as an ornament. It's not live and holds no salt value at all. It's just an ornament. As well as this rock, this was in a freshwater tank for, you know, years. It's just a regular rock. It's not a salt rock or live rock or anything. Uh, the only thing I do is I just get the water from the uh, lagoon and uh, change it out regularly, you know, every three to five days. And, uh, you know, if, if that's a barometer of how good the, the life of fish you can keep if you do this on your own, then, I mean, that's pretty good. You know, we're going on three weeks now, and uh, Everybody's pretty happy. Uh, the water's a little stirred up right now. Uh, I did a, the, I changed the second filter pad, so everything's a bit stirred up. But that's you know that's that's I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bore you with just following this guy around laying eggs uh, for any longer than we already have. So um, it's pretty interesting, you know. Uh, like I said, it's, this is really interesting to me. I, I've gotten a kick out of this. Uh, Catching them and, the, and then watching their behavior, you know, in the tank. It's pretty neat. Thanks for uh, watching, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I do. Bye.